Hey everyone, Krista here, and if you're looking for a wonderful place to have dinner in the Animal Kingdom, I'm gonna go over all of the details of what it's like at the Tusker House. So let's get into it. The Tusker House in the Animal Kingdom is a Harambe Marketplace themed restaurant that serves family style African inspired meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The Tusker House is located in the front of the Land of Africa after passing through the gates and over the bridge. We visited on a Friday night for dinner and was able to snag the very last reservations of the night at 7.55 just before the park closed for the evening. I wasn't quite sure how this worked because the park actually closed at 8 p.m., but they seated us right away and we ended up being the very last guest to arrive for the evening. The Tusker House is a table service restaurant in the Animal Kingdom, and in order to eat at any of the table service restaurants, you do need a confirmed dining reservation for the total number of guests regardless of age, plus park reservation and valid admission for the same park on the same day of your dining reservation. When walking into the Tusker house, it makes you feel like you just walked into a Harambe market. I love the main dining room with the building facades and the, all the little details that makes it feel like it's a lived-in marketplace. We were seated in one of the smaller dining areas just off the main dining room, and I just loved the theming throughout the entire restaurant. The Tusker House is a family-style restaurant, so there is only one set price for every member of your party. The cost to eat dinner at the Tusker House is currently $55 for adults and $36 for kids, but they do offer breakfast and lunch as well, which is actually why I invited my friend Sammy to join me in this video to give us some insight on what it's like to have breakfast at the Tusker House. I'll let her tell you a little bit more about herself later. The biggest draw for for the Tusker House is that it's character dining. And while you dine, you get the opportunity to snap a photo and cheer on as Donald, Daisy, Mickey, and Goofy travel throughout the dining room celebrating their latest expedition. When we arrived, we were immediately greeted by our server who got our drink orders and brought out our first course, which was an assortment of house-made breads served with hummus, as well as a couple of different chutneys. This one is cilantro and the other one is mango. Along with the bread and chutneys, we also got this delicious African-inspired salad that came with kachumbari and Arcadian green salad with citrus vinaigrette dressing that was refreshing. And while you're enjoying your meal, you'll get unexpected visits by, oh, hi Donald. Yep, those are some pretty awesome dance moves. <laughs> Once you're done with your appetizers, your entrees will come out, and these African-inspired entrees include Moroccan spiced beef, split roasted herb chicken, Cape Maley green curry shrimp, and sides that include green beans, carrots and corn, jasmine rice, roasted potatoes, and house-made macaroni and cheese, which was delicious. Oh, and did I forget to mention that every 20 minutes or so, there's also a celebration that per raids throughout the restaurant. Yep, every 20 minutes you'll hear music start to rise as Mickey, Goofy, Donald, and Daisy will come through and celebrate their latest expedition. This is in addition to those photo op opportunity sessions that I told you about earlier where the characters walk around and greet the guests at the table. They also do these fun celebration walkthroughs where you'll get to dance with them too. When you feel like you can't eat anything more, then you'll have to make some more room for some dessert. For dessert, you'll get these three different animal-inspired desserts that are so cute. I can't quite remember the flavor of this bumblebee one, so if you know, let me know in the comments below. But my favorite was definitely this vanilla cupcake here, closely followed by the 50th anniversary brownie. If you're not looking to end your day with dinner at the Animal Kingdom, then the Tusker House also is very known for their delicious breakfast. And this is where Sammy comes in. My dear friend from Scotland visited the Tusker House for breakfast to give us a view of what the food and experience is like. We have some fresh fruit and yogurt. We've got some bread, Nutella, butter, 
can't remember that, what that was. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Some cornbread, zebra bread, and a uh, malted croissant. And of course, we have the jungle juice. And here is the hot food. I asked for it without eggs and there's a chicken curry. I asked for it without that because I'm not going to eat it. But we have sausage, bacon, waffles and potatoes. So thanks so much, Sammy. Why don't you tell everyone a little bit about yourself? Hi, I'm Sammy. I am Smiling Sammy on YouTube. Uh, I'm sure Chris will put all my links down below. My Instagram is SamanthaMC92. I also have a YouTube, Smiling Sammy YT. Yeah, definitely come and check me out. So here are a few things to consider if you are thinking about booking the Tusker House at the Animal Kingdom. The Tusker House is one of the more popular restaurants in Animal Kingdom and can get pretty difficult to get reservations. I would highly recommend trying to get reservations as soon as your reservations open up. And if you don't get them the first time around, try and try again because you never know when a cancellation may pop up. So, so I would check every morning and until your trip to see if you might see one. The restaurant is an all-you-can-eat family-style meal. So there are not any additional food menus, but there is an additional menu for alcoholic drinks. The cost of the meal at the Tesker house is a bit more expensive, but what you're really coming here is for those fun interactions with your favorite characters throughout your meal. I had a wonderful time at dinner at the Tusker House in Animal Kingdom, and in addition to the delicious food, you had plenty of times to be able to take photos and see your favorite characters throughout your meal. If you're wondering what other restaurants there are to eat at at the Animal Kingdom, then you'll have to check out my overview on the Rainforest Cafe that just popped up on the screen. Until next time everyone, I hope you have an amazing day and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.